Hello everybody, welcome back to another What's New Wednesday. So this week we are heading to Primark. I was actually up visiting Lee and Kyla this weekend, just gone. And so me and Kyla visited the Primark at Meadow Hall. I hadn't been there for a little while actually. And that's always a really good store because they have lots there, lots of home. Like last time I went, the homeware was just incredible. Um, but I went specifically to see what they had for Christmas this time around. But I think I went too late <laughs> to go and see the Christmas stuff because it will become apparent as you watch the video. Uh, there was not a lot of Christmas stuff left. Um, yeah, it was kind of very sparse in some areas. But nevertheless, I still managed to film some bits for you. So without further ado, let's cut to the shop, have a little look around with me and Kyla, and then join me back and I'll give you my opinion <laughs> and also share with you some of the bits that I bought. The song that's playing just as we enter. Perfect. If I can find this card again in an extra large, I would totally get it. That's very cute. Well, this is similar to what I've got on today, actually. Mine's a star. What are these? Separate knits. So, like Christmas pyjamas, but knitted. Oh, wow, look at these. Vibrant colours. I like the cable knit on them. Find that long in a white. That'd be nice. Actually, this one's quite nice. This looks very slouchy. I like that. This reminds me of um, the cat in the hat. Is it the cat in the hat? Yes. Do you know? Oh, mm. these are. Oh, this looks like the sweets. They're like liquor short sorts. Yes. Let's have a look at some of the knitwear. Again, it's all like vibrant and pastel colours for winter. It's not all like about the autumnal colours anymore. Look at this. Would you wear that? I'm not. No? I'm into the I'm into the bright hats. I've got a green one. Oh these pink ones are nice. So I'm thinking for New York. Three pound fifty. Three pound fifty. Might have one of those. Loads of berets. I still haven't worn a purple one because we haven't been to Paris. We'll be going soon though. Actually, we'll still be going when it's cold, so I will get to wear it. Oh, they've got hats with your initials on. Hmm. Oh, these are nice. These scarves. Oh, this cable knit scarf is nice. I bet that's nice and warm. Oh, it feels nice too. Oh, this is quite nice. It's faux fur coat. How much is that? I'm going to say £35. <gasps> £32. It's a nice colour. Mm. I would buy the, the camel, but I'm thinking of specifically wearing it with wide like camel trousers. Mm. That might be a bit much. Do you like khaki as a colour? Yeah. Good. Soft autumn. Good. Good. <laughs> I quite like these gloves. <laughs> what? The, wouldn't be able to work with phone. I think that they look like boxing gloves, it don't they? It would be a small price to pay <laughs> to look insane wearing these leather. 100% leather. Oh, are they? They are 100% leather. They? Oh, and these. Yeah, I quite like the green ones. Oh. Leather or pleather. Did you get like a, a whole pleather? Oh my god, you can get a pleather shirt, pleather trousers, and the matching jacket. Wow, wow. There's a lot of, a lot of pleather. Oh, it's velvet now. This is very Christmassy, isn't it? This is, imagine a sparkly cami top underneath there. Oh, I like the pink check shirt. That's nice. We've got it in blue, teal, purple. Oh, I see sparkles. Wow. Whoa. Look at these trousers. I actually kind of love these trousers. Oh, oh I've got my size. I would wear those for Christmas with a black top. What are they? Oh, I like that. Oh, 
What's that? Paula Echo Barrier. Oh, like a disco ball in this. Are these dresses or are they underwear? That reminds me of Madonna Blonde Ambition Tour. Got a little one sleeve number in purple, then in like a teal colour. They like teal colour, don't they? Oh my goodness. Wow. I mean, very festive colours. Very festive colours. Oh my goodness, look at these bags. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm looking for all like the plain stuff. Everything is just bright and pale. And I like bright stuff, but it's a lot. Like, like these. I quite like these. Guys, guys, come on. Wow. Fashion confuses me. There was a lot of um, snoodies, oodies, got Lion King, Tom and Jerry, Disney ones, Powder Puff Girls, it's loads. What are they called? Oodies. I want to say oodies. Oh, they've got Harry Potter ones there. Snoody. You said snoody, I said oody. What's an oody? Oh, What's the difference? I don't know. Is that something to do with like a scarf that's also a hot? Oh, oh I, don't, I don't know. We're in the men's section now. We're looking at the men's Christmas shirt. Do you think Lee would cool. wear that? I actually think he would because Milo's got little shirts like this. Oh, what's this one? <laughs> that one's quite cool. These the ones are nice and thin. Yeah, that one's softer. Oh, Grinch t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Getting one of those. We've got Grinch jumpers as well. Got dead... Oh, the sweatshirt. Oh, that... actually, I'd wear that. Um, they've got Deadpool ones. I would. Do you know what? I would wear that Snoopy one myself. Simi and Kylo are talking about getting matching pajamas for this evening because we're having a Christmas movie night. So I'm wondering, Disney, non-Disney. What else have they got? Santa Squad. These. Just with the trees on. They're quite nice. These are sweet. Oh, these are really nice pajamas. Like, especially imagine if you were in Disney and you had these pajamas on Christmas morning. All right. What's in trending now? Pink. I mean, I, I think pink is trending. The jumper on here versus the jumper on here up there. Looks like a different jumper. That, I want. I want that. What, because of the collar? Because she's got a... But in the bright, indirect light, it looks really cool. But this looks really dull. It's too short. It's too short for me. Well, it's too short for, it's too short for me, for a start. Oh, well, maybe. Whoa, look. Wow. Do you know what I think of when I look at that? Do you remember Romeo and Michelle's high school reunion? Or Never Been Kissed? You know, Never Been Kissed when she... Never Been Kissed. I've never seen Never Been Kissed. Why have you not seen Never Been Kissed? Oh, I actually like this shirt. I'm a little bit lucky. I'm going to lean into this as a vibe when I'm older. I don't... I can't, like, spaceship cowboy. That's... That's a trend right now. <laughs> I actually like that jumper. That, is that tigers on there? I actually quite like that jumper. I'm not going to have my size, are they? No. I'm not an extra small today. Or a small. Oh, it's a shame. Right. I'm going into Christmas. I mean, there's hardly anything left there, but... Let's see what they've got, decoration-wise and gift-wise. A Primark doing a bear now, you know, like Harrods do a Christmas bear. 
a Primark gonna do a bear every year? Because that would be cool. And they look very fancy, don't they? Like more expensive than what what they are. Oh, they've got faceless nutcrackers. Garlands. I really like these berry garlands actually. These are really nice for like going down the stairs. Actually they're really long for a tenner. I like that one. Christmas homeware. Oh look at that! Yeah, so much stuff at the beginning of November. This is it's like it's been ransacked. Yeah. This feels like Christmas It's very cute though. These like little Look like ramekin dishes. All oh, the star dishes are nice. Christmas napkins. Oh, what are these? Napkin, napkin rings. Three pound fifty for two. Well, I used curtain rings, and it was like a pack of ten for three pound. How nice are these snowflake plates? Five pound. They're really nice. They do bowls. And cups as well. Oh, and like long serving trays. This penguin plant pot is cute. You could put a poinsettia in there. I think that would look nice. Oh, look. A Disney pet treat jar. Christmas treat jar. That's sweet. <laughs> Disney bowls. Oh. So what little gifts have they got? That's sweet, plant lover gift set. Bike repair kit, grooming set. Dartboard, dartboard and beer glass set. Football. What's this? Yoga stacking game. Are some of the parts missing? Oh my God, look. You have to stack them, that's like yoga Jenga. That looks really funny, actually. I've got some really nice homeware gifts, like oil sets, salt sets. That's nice. Got a little coffee cup, an espresso mug, taco night set. These are really nice. Build your own cheese board, pesto. We've got over here some Marvel gift sets. <laughs> Paint your own money bank. <sighs> Game sets. What's this? Tie dye donuts gift set. It's different. And we're back. I hope you enjoyed that little shopping section. So. Here's my, here's my thoughts. I don't understand the fashion in Primark anymore. Maybe it's my age, or maybe I've just, my style's changed. I just, I just didn't get it. Fashion is really not doing it for me at Primark anymore. I find that I'm gravitating to Primark more now for homeware stuff, um, accessories although even the accessories are baffling me um <laughs> so yeah I, I think from now on moving forward i'll probably end up just going to primark for a cardigan if i want a cardigan because they do really nice ones there uh and like i say homeware and the little bits and bobs that i go in there for like hair bobbles and grips and stuff because it's really not floating my boat anymore i'm really sorry to say but anyway I did buy some things, so let's let me share those with you. I mean, I mean, I have got, I have got a bag of stuff, so I did, you know, I did buy things. Firstly, I want to just mention this because I bought a sweatshirt from the men's section. Me and Kyla both, actually, let's put that on the floor. Um, me and Kyla both bought a sweatshirt. We wanted to get matching pajamas, but we couldn't find any in either of our sizes. Um, so we couldn't find any of those. So we thought, right, let's let's get a festive sweatshirt or a, a Christmas jumper so we can sit and watch Christmas films together and, you know, be all matchy-matchy. Anyway, we stumbled across this one. 
I think I filmed it. Uh, we stumbled across this one in the men's section and I thought, great, that's really cute. And I will, I will wear that. I'll wear that around the house and at weekends and stuff. Um, so yeah, so I got a men's 2XL. Now, I'm a bigger lady. I understand that. But I didn't anticipate this to be quite so tight on me. So it's quite big up top. But it goes in, I don't know what kind of style that is, it just like tapers in and it was just awful. So I'm going to have to take this back. This was this bag, mum tried this on and it was the same thing. She was like, flipping heck. So yeah, that was, it was not a wise move to buy a sweatshirt from the men's section because it wasn't very roomy in that, in the tummy area. Um... I mean, you know, obviously men's clothes aren't built for women's bodies, are they? But it was a sweatshirt. You'd think a generic sweatshirt would, would be okay, but evidently not. But I do like the design of the sweatshirt and it's a shame that it doesn't, doesn't fit, but I'll be returning that. So that was the first thing that I bought. The next item that I bought, also from the men's section, but I bought this for my brother for Christmas as one of his little, little presents. I bought him... <laughs> a Grinch t-shirt and this was uh 10 pounds for this um yeah we've got like a little joke running joke that he's the Grinch because in his opinion we put our Christmas decorations up way too early and so I've been calling in the Grinch and so I got him a t-shirt because I just thought it was funny and they've got lots of Grinch stuff actually for Christmas next up I bought a couple of hats one for me and one for mum um so I got this bright pink hat for me now here's the thing i'm going to sound really contradictory now but i'm not a fan of all of the bright handbags in there like they are just a bit too much like the the handbags and the shoes i'm like whoa but a bright hat i like um especially if you're wearing like a black coat like, i wear my black body warmer all the time and so a nice pop of color in a hat I don't think is bad and I've got a bright green hat I've got a bright orange hat and now I have a bright pink hat and I really like this style and it's really comfortable too and it's like soft and squidgy so yeah <laughs> I got a bright a bright pink hat for me uh, and that was £3.50 so I got that and then for mum I got her this pinky peach one with a little bobble on the top she likes the bobble hats i like the ones are they like are these beanie hats i don't are they beanie hats but anyway she likes the bobbly ones uh, and this was three pound fifty for this one so that's for mum uh, next thing i bought some more of these twisty candles so i've got these ones in our bedroom in like a rusty color and so i thought these would be nice for christmas for the christmas table i might i was thinking i might like spray them with glitter I think that would be quite nice as well. Uh, so these were £1.50. Now, <laughs> no trip to Primark would be complete for me without buying some microfiber cloths. Um, I love these. I absolutely love these. And they've got Christmas ones. So, hello. Uh, these were £1.50 for a pack of five. And um, yeah, got some Christmas microfiber cloths. And then the last thing that I got were these for charlie uh these are six pound naughty and nice i'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt he is not good with fluffy toys whatsoever um but i don't know if he'll be different with these they're not fluffy but i'm hoping he won't tear these apart as easily although i've just noticed the threads are coming out i'm gonna have to s i'm gonna have to snip those but um i thought they were really cute especially for christmas so let's see how he fares with these but um yeah couldn't resist and that that is it a very minimal <laughs> primark haul for the last primark shop with me of 2022 um yeah and one of the things i'm gonna have to take back but anyway i hope you enjoyed popping around the shop having a look what is about and seeing the fashion i can't say i'm gonna be uh 
purchasing the metallic cowboy boots anytime soon but i guess each to their own it's fashion <laughs> not my fashion but it's somebody's fashion anyway i will see you guys on friday for a live stream and then saturday my part two of vlogmas will be up so i'll catch you guys at some point uh take care and i'll see you soon